Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Scandinavian Airlines SAS reintroduces flights to Tokyo Japan Scandinavian Airlines will resume regular flights to Tokyo from June, becoming the 13th European airline to fly to Tokyo this summer. Ahead of the full restart, SAS will operate a handful of flights over the Easter period to meet expected high holiday demand. SAS long-haul network is still recovering from the disruptions of recent years. A return to Tokyo is an important step on the road to recovery for the airline, which still faces major financial challenges under bankruptcy protection. The relaunch is part of one busy summer schedule for SAS which hopes to return to profitability in 2024. Many travelers will see this as an improvement, given that Haneda is significantly closer to downtown Tokyo, and linked to the city's massive subway system of Star Alliance, Air China, all Nippon Airways Indigena, operate I and Haneda. However, SAS will only operate three instead of the expected seven weekly flights. The flight time is extended to almost 14 hours due to airspace problems over Russia. While the route S return is helping restore connectivity between Scandinavia and Asia, SAS's capacity between the two regions is just 22% of pre-pandemic levels, according to Simple Flying. SAS typically operates its Airbus A350 with 300 passenger seats, including 40 business class seats in a 1 to 2 1 configuration and 32 premium economy seats, in a 2-3-2 configuration. The 228 economy seats will be in a 3-3-3 configuration, with the points guy calling the seats above average for economy, despite their sleek design, which goes back to old roots. SAS is deploying its new Airbus A321 LR on new routes from Newark to Gothenburg in Sweden and Alberg in Denmark, to transition to a point-to-point -point long haul model. SAS had previously announced 20 new routes within Scandinavia and two from Europe for this summer.